In this screencast I'll show you how to use Excel to fit any function to a set of XY data. So here's our XY data, series of data points that we want to fit a function to and for this example I'm going to fit a third order polynomial to this data. So I've got a Y calc for the values that are going to be calculated by the function. If I click on this cell you can see that I'm um, using a, a formula here to take each x value, multiply it by the right coefficient, raise it to the right power, and calculate what the value should be for that y calc based on some initial dummy values for the equation. And I can copy that down, and you can see that all of those values are nowhere near what we want them to be. Okay, but we're going to use solver to try and improve our estimate of these coefficients to get a, a proper fit to the data. To do that we need to look at the error squared, so the difference between the y and the y calc, y calc squared. Copy that down. Find the sum of all of those. And then we're ready to use solver. So let's go to data, solver, and we want to set this sum of these errors squared to a minimum. And we want to do that by changing these coefficients for our function, which in this case is the polynomial. Uh, we also want to make sure we can have some negative values, those, neg those coefficients could be negative. Uh, we want to get some fairly decent values here, so we want to have quite a good percentage optimality there, so we'll just change that as well. Um, we've set up the problem, we can press solve. Solver's found a, a solution, got some coefficients there. If we look at the sum of the errors, it's not brilliant, we've still got some differences between the values, between the data points and what the function is saying. If that happens, you can run Solver again, see if by iterating you get an improved fit to the data. And you can see now the error's gone very small and these numbers are pretty close to the original data points. So we have our the fit to our polynomial. Now of course we could have done this a lot more easily just by using the linest function, which we've done down here. Take those xy data points, put them through the linest function for, poly, for a third order polynomial and get these coefficients. And you can see Solver's done a pretty good job of getting something very similar. Now where this really comes into its own is for more kind of exotic functions where Linest can't handle the particular function that you're after um, and you can use this solver approach to fit your equation to the data.